get up, stretch my legs. It's day three in quarantine and I'm waiting for my COVID test results to get sent to me. So fingers crossed, all has gone well and I'm COVID free. Wake up, get up, stretch my legs, eat some breakfast, milk and eggs, brush my teeth up, wash my face, throw my clothes on, start my day. Wake up, I can smell the smoke from the bacon. Let's go, see the sun shining from the windows. Okay, I know that today will be a good day. Okay. I know that today'll be a good day. Yeah, yeah. A B C, one two three. Drink some water, brush my teeth, get out of bed. And I good morning, guys. It's a bit of a chilly day outside. I've been editing most of the morning, and uh, yeah, it's almost time for lunch. Some sun exotic, which I won't drink. Cheddar and onion crisps, chicken sandwich, salad that I probably won't eat. I guess I'm having a curly whirly. Had a really cold shower this morning, and at least they let me know why. So, I found out that you can't actually use the fitness facilities that they have here their definition of you being allowed to exercise is you can go and stand outside in the cold for 20 minutes twice a day which given the weather just doesn't appeal to me so yeah i guess i'm gonna stay in Fall back in school with my friends. Attitude change like the weather. I don't eat spinach and lettuce and stuff like that. So this comes off my food. But oddly, the chicken does look good. And given that I'm actually quite hungry for just the cold weather, um, they just have to dismantle it a bit, I guess. And uh, hope. That it's not too bad. I'm not short of any water, as you can see. Times a day just because I'm not moving all that much. So I felt like a change from the hotel food and I ordered myself my favorite burger from Five Guys and a milkshake through Deliveroo, which is I think something similar to Uber Eats and uh, they have a much better menu than the local Uber Eats. Everything is nice and sealed, like extremely sealed, <laughs> it's like Navy sealed. The delivery did take a little bit longer than expected, but I'm sure it's still going to be good. Look at these amazing fries. Definitely best eaten at Five Guys. Mm. My word. So I'm just in bed, watching a movie, eating Five Guys.
good news. I'm negative for COVID. And so now I have to still stay in isolation for the rest of the time that I'm here, but at least the quarantine doesn't start again. And I have to have another test on day eight. And if that goes well, then I can leave on day 10. So fingers crossed. And uh, for now we celebrate because I'm negative for COVID. Good morning, guys. It's Friday, uh, day four of my quarantine. Feeling less anxious than I did yesterday. Uh, relieved that I don't have COVID. Um, but I've been up for a bit. Had the usual breakfast, doesn't change. Um, the only thing that changes is one day they give you apple juice the other day they give you this orange juice and it's got to be the most sour juice I've ever had. Ooh. I don't know like how real juices are like that come in a box you know everything that I've heard is that juices need to be squeezed in front of you and the longer they sit the more they turn to sugar and if you're trying to cut sugar out of your diet is like I am then yeah drinking these sort of box juice is probably not the healthiest alternative but I'm sure you get something out of it and um, it's bitter as it is and it's bitter uh, yeah I need to drink something with a little bit of taste My soda stash. My fruit stash. The meals are getting a bit repetitive, so it's really just a cycle of eating and removing food. I have been using transfer wires, which is now wise for a while. And uh, knowing that when I got to the UK, I would have a bank account that I could pretty much use from anywhere in the world. Um, but I couldn't get the card delivered to South Africa because they don't do that yet. But they do deliver a card in the UK. And uh, yeah, I was expecting this sometime next week, but I got my new WISE card uh, for while I'm in the UK and uh, yeah I find it really interesting that there's no credit card number on you and everything but it acts like any other bank account that you can get so uh, I think you have to get on the app and then you can uh, access all of your details It's dinner time and it feels like all I'm doing right now is living to eat, which is very unlike me, but but the most exciting thing that happens during my day. guys it's uh day five looks miserable out there glad i'm in here uh let's see what this day brings <laughs> Break 
breakfast again. So, I've been uh, watching this great series called Startup, and it's got that halt and catch fire vibe. And uh, so, if you haven't watched that series, I definitely encourage you to go watch it. Um, you know, that series is all about uh, networking and computers and things like that back in like the 70s and so on, the Steve Jobs era. And it's a fictitious story, but it's just super interesting. And the startup is like a more modern version of like startups and, and kind of the mafia being involved in cryptocurrencies and the dark web and things like that. So super interesting. I'd encourage you to look into it. I hadn't heard of it before and there's like nothing brings me more joy than finding like a series that never no one's talking about and no one's ever seen and I always like those series that kind of less heard of. Um, and so yeah. Uh, definitely my thing. Having me a little uh, yukult, I think that's how you said. It. So, yeah, having me a little yukult, uh, which is my probiotic when I haven't got my hands on any kefir. Can't get it in South Africa, but it's something that I've always drunk when I'm in the UK. I had it in Hong Kong, and uh, yeah, got to keep that gut healthy. So, bottoms up. <laughs> lunch today got me some soup nice warm roll and I took a vegetarian dish today which means that I have halloumi steaks um, with some sweet chili sauce soda I won't drink apple keep the doctor away and Twix, which I'm looking forward to. But these poor people have probably just come from the airport, they're finally being escorted into the hotel and uh, they get assigned to their room. So yeah, not much of you, nice field over there with some cows, the highway. Good morning guys, it's day six and uh, I thought I'd give you a little bit of a room tour. Um, I've been in here for six days obviously and I haven't overly unpacked or anything like that and the place is a little bit of a mess because as I've needed things I just pull it out and to be honest I'm actually pretty lazy just chilling in the room all the time but yeah um, it's not much to do not the biggest space in the world but I've seen videos of other hotel rooms and some of them look a lot smaller than what I've got. So I find it absolutely fine, no complaints, does the job, I get my meals, um, I understand what I'm doing here and I feel better knowing that I've actually um, got to rest when I get to the UK. and. Uh, not just rush around like a madman like I normally have although I don't think that it's going to be a rush anytime soon regardless of being in quarantine or not um, but yeah let me give you a room tour there's a seating area over here with a table that's quite nice because you can actually just slide it under the bed and use it as a like a dinner tray then there's the desk Got a little mirror which you're gonna get down to see. 
TV over there. We've got a uh, bed over there. Over here we have like the refreshments, all the sodas I don't drink, all the bottled stuff, all the teas and coffees, little fruit station going on here. And uh, yeah, all the waters that I haven't quite drunk yet. And then at the bottom we have a little refrigerator. Uh, there's a closet, not much going on in there. There's an iron, not even an iron actually. No, there's, there's an iron and ironing board. We have the bathroom. That's fine. So sometimes the food just sucks. I've got some soup and a sandwich. And yeah, it's just not great. And uh, so I just can't eat it. And I am thinking about whether I order some again. Um, but I always struggle with that because there's this calculation in my mind about how much money I'm spending on something that is a fraction of the price back in South Africa which I know you shouldn't do but I can't help myself but think about it but yeah lunch today because everything's just not great is literally I've had a packet of crisps chips and I'm eating this bounty chocolate Blowing my mind that a week ago I was eating steak in South Africa. No more bubble bath. Tonight's dinner is a vegetarian dish, but I'm so hungry, I'm just going to eat it. Wrap it up with a little Jude's vegan chocolate. My name is Craig Jamison. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, leave a comment, and stay cool.